Welcome to Knife Thoughts. This video is going to be my review of this knife, and this is the Nafsco Lander 2. And so this is the second iteration of the Lander, which is a knife designed by Ben Peterson of Nafsco. And I first, you know, became aware of Ben Peterson, like a lot of people, through his videos with Blade HQ, but then was able to uh, review the first knife design that he made, which was the banter, uh, due to his uh, generosity and uh, goodwill uh, nature in uh, response to me criticizing the design on Reddit, and since then have been a fan of his knives and designs. And I got the Lander 1. I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually took advantage of the open source and fast swap uh, handle scales. My cousin made some 3D printed ones, but it just wasn't something that, that exactly was, you know, the type of knife that, that I would carry typically as my modern knife, because like a lot of Ben's designs, it's a little smaller than what I typically carry. I'm usually carrying something in the 3.25 to 3.75 inch range, um, or even up into the four inch blade length range. Um, like, you know, one of my favorite knives from this year is the Spyderco Military 2, which has a solid four inch bladed knife or is a solid four inch bladed knife. So the Lander one was a, a little bit small for my taste typically. Um, and I was really excited when I saw that Ben was doing the Lander two, which is basically a bigger and better version of the Lander one. Um, so he describes it on the site uh, as kind of like the Apollo 12, you know, in, in relation to the Apollo 11. Um, it, it proved that it wasn't a fluke, that the Lander 1 wasn't a fluke, and that, that they could do it again, but better. Uh, so it's literally bigger. This knife has a 3.25 inch blade, which gets it kind of right up against where I typically like to uh, have a knife. Again, I, I do like to be closer to 3.5 inches in the blade length for my modern knife, and a big reason for that is not really because I often need that much blade length, but because I typically carry a traditional knife also. Uh, so, you know, something like this GEC here, uh, which is a smaller knife. And so I have that for my smaller blade. And really, I don't have any restrictions that stop me from carrying something bigger. Um, I work in a martial arts gym and, you know, live in a state where there's no blade length laws and all of that. But I was excited to see this larger version of the lander um, but that's not really the only upgrade that it has the other thing is that it has s35 vn steel which is a great steel um i think that sometimes people kind of poo poo s30 v and s35 vn um in the knife enthusiast kind of world these days because everybody loves things like cpm 20 cv and now magna cut and things like that but i think that s35 vn is one of the best steels for general use. So this knife, Spyderco Native 5, uh, in this beautiful fluted titanium that my brother gave me a long time ago, um, is one of the knives that I've used the most of any. And I think that S35VN you know, holds an edge well, it's nice stainless enough for me, um, it's not that hard to sharpen. It's just a great overall steel, and I think a really good option uh, for an EDC knife. And that's really what this Lander 2 is aimed at, I believe. Uh, the other thing is that this has a different lock. So this has what they're calling the clutch lock, which is the Kaiser uh, Kaiser's version of, you know, what Benchmade would have called the <laughs> um, access lock. Uh, so that the patent for that um, has expired and so lots and lots of companies are doing their own versions of uh, this style of lock and um, speaking of that this knife is made by kaiser uh, so one thing that i really like that ben does is he he always you know is um, transparent with the oem of his knives and i think that that's a good thing it's something that's not always the case in the industry and i understand that it can't always be the case but i do appreciate it when it's something that that you know the designer can do and kaiser makes a great knife i've had you know a good number of knives from kaiser and they are always well made they kind of have their own um, finishing style that's a little different than civivi and things like that uh, which 
Savivi and we have made some of the previous designs for Ben. I don't believe the lander was made by them, but uh, the banter and the baby banter and the big banter <laughs> um, were made by uh, we, Savivi and we, um, respectively there, <laughs> if I got that right. Uh, but Kaiser makes a great knife also, and this knife is really well made. Um, it came with beautiful action. You can see that it's very smooth, drops closed easily. Um, it came pretty much perfectly centered, uh, no blade play. It does have uh, caged ceramic ball bearings and locks super solid forward and back and side to side. Um, has these thumb studs so you can slow roll it. You can middle finger flick it from the back. Um, you can just flick it from the front. And of course with this clutch lock, you can pull the lock back and swing it out like that. So great action. The other thing is that this is a, a nicely ground blade. Um, so seems like it comes to a really nice thin edge. I was uh, impressed by the cutting of this knife. One thing that Civivi and we do really well is the grind on their knives. And you know, different companies often don't in my experience, get quite to their level of a nice thin grind. And I really appreciate that, particularly on an EDC knife like this. But I feel that this really, you know, kind of had the same nice thin grind so that it slices really well, which is what you want on an EDC knife. So I really appreciate that. Um, and speaking of that, moving on to the blade itself, the shape, it's a very classic, kind of halfway between a drop point and a spear point. So uh, kind of a design similarity between a lot of the knives that Ben has designed uh, is this almost spear point, you know, almost drop point style blade shape um, with kind of a saber grind, not a full grind, um, but a nice high grind on there so that it is uh, thinly ground. An interesting thing with this one is how it's not really a straight grind line. This actually does curve somewhat up towards the uh, spine of the, the blade. But I think that this is a great all around use blade shape. It reminds me somewhat of the K-Bar Dozier folder. Um, I don't have one of those now, but I've you know seen them and the blade shape on this reminds me of that. And I think that's a good thing. It's a very classic and kind of just generally useful blade shape. Um, I really like spear points on traditional knives. So uh, like what you see on a Swiss Army knife or just cause I'm carrying it today on this Sean Yaw Barlow, and you can see that there's definitely some similarity there. Uh, so I do like a nice classic blade shape like that. And then the handle is really well done. Uh, it has some things that are kind of design characteristics of Ben's, like this little cutoff here. Um, the banter, where did I put it? The banter has that. Uh, the baby banter, the big banter has have that and the Lander One uh, has that also. So it's kind of something that, that he keeps on his designs. Um, now this one has a nice, long, slender, and simple handle. And if you you know watch my videos, you know that uh, I always say that a simple handle makes for an ergonomic handle, and that's true here. Now I have pretty wide hands and fingers, um, and you can see that I can pretty much get a full four finger grip without my pinky hanging off the edge of this. So I really like that. That's something that makes a knife more comfortable in use. And I think, you know, being able to get a nice full grip on a knife like this, it's not huge, you know, 3.25 inch blade is, is a, a nice feature. It feels good in my hand. Um, the clip, which is a, a nice deep carry clip here, you know, you can feel it. I can feel it in my hand, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue in your normal daily tasks. Um, so I think that the handles are a really nice shape. I really appreciate that. It's less blocky than the banter, and baby banter and big banter. Um, which was one of my kind of criticisms from just seeing the design online. But in person, in, in hand, actually, the, the banter feels great. Um, so it, the Lander 2 is a little bit less blocky, a little bit more sleek and slender, um, but it still feels great. Also, speaking of the handles, um, these are also the fast swap handles, like on the Lander 1, which are open source. So you can actually get the files for these handles, these covers, on nafsco or nafs.com, and you can 3D print them. You know, you can 
um, have somebody make them, you know, you can buy some from NAFs. Um, but it's really cool that they do that because it opens up a world of possibilities for these handles. Um, I'm hoping to have my cousin make some again uh, and put my Knife Thoughts logo on it, which is what I did with the Lander 1. Uh, so it's really cool to be able to do that. I mean, you could go crazy with it. You can make the handles different shapes, you know, just build out around the liners. Uh, I haven't seen a whole, whole lot of that. I know they've done some of that. Uh, people have done some of that, but that's something that you could definitely do. Um, and, you know, you could make different kind of textures, different um, shapes on the handles. So it's really cool to have those open source uh, covers or, or scales. I think that's a nice feature. Um, so I think that this is a, a, an upgrade for me, a, a definite upgrade over the Lander 1, not just because of the size difference, but because it just hits a lot of those things. It's fun to you know open and close. It's very fidget friendly. Um, it has a steel that I love that's heat treated well. It's heat treated to 59 to 61 uh, hardness. Um, a classic blade shape, a comfortable handle. So I think Ben did really well with this Lander 2, and I think that it is a definite uh, upgrade over the first one. I got this from uh, Kickstarter. Uh, I actually don't remember how much it was on Kickstarter, to be completely honest, but they're $130 on uh, NAFS.com, and you can get them elsewhere also, I believe. But uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave any comments below, check out my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife-related topics, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and select all so you know when I post new videos. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.